Time for play of the week nominee number three coming from Dowling Catholic. This Northwest throw is tipped and Nick Fryericks holds it in with one hand. That's an impressive interception. Let's check that out again. Tipped and ooh, ooh, well, just heads pretty, up play. Pretty good reflexes right there for the Maroons that are heading on. All right, well, let's talk Class 1A. Van Meter hosting Sigourney Kyoto. First quarter, Bulldogs up 7 nothing. They hand it to who else? Ben Gordon. He navigates his way through traffic, absorbs as a contact, makes it to the edge, and is finally brought down for a big gain. Now, later in the drive, Ben Gilliland keeps it, blows by the defense. He gets all the way inside the Cobra's 20-yard line. And Van Meter trying to cap it all off with a touchdown. They give it back to Ben Gordon because why wouldn't you? He is a one-man wrecking crew, pretty much automatic in the red zone and the Bulldogs take a 14 nothing lead. Van Meter trying to score one more time for the end of the quarter. Gilliland drops a dime uh, to Aiden Netton in the end zone for the touchdown. They head into the second quarter with a 21 nothing lead and the Bulldogs roll with a big win over the Cobras 45 to nothing. They are heading back to the dome to continue that state title defense. And also in Class 1A, Pella Christian falls to Underwood 47 to 28. In Class A, Linville Soli hosting AHS TW. The Vikings fumble in their own territory, but they fall on it. But they fumble again. This one, they're not so lucky. Linville Soli's quarter now and harder with the punt return to the house touchdown Hawks. Now, Linville Sully gets the two-point conversion to make it 8-0. The rain creates more trouble for the Vikings. A bad snap leads to a huge sack from Chance Baumfalk. Later, a nice run from Noun Harder sets up the Hawks at the goal line. And we go to Kyle Squires, who scores on the very next play. Linville Sully grinds out a tough win in the rain, 20-0. Well, it's classes 8 through 5. They wrapped up uh, the quarterfinals tonight. We had eight man quarterfinals taking place last night. Uh, let's take a look at some of those matchups. It's Lennox hosting Fremont Mills, and Gabe Funk airs it out to Samson Adams. He hauls it in for the 27 yard touchdown and gets the Tigers on the board first. Second quarter, Tigers down two now. We get some deja vu. Funk finds Adams over the top, this time for a 46 yard touchdown. They take back the lead 12 to 8. And Lennox goes on to get the win over Fremont Mills, 32 to 8. Eight. And the Tigers heading back to the dome for the eight man state semifinal. Over in Wayland, Montezuma taking on Waco. First play of the game for the Braves. Owen Cook finds Garrett Watts, and he goes all the way inside the 20 yard line of Waco. Those two link up on the very next play. Monty hits him in the end zone. They go up early, but unfortunately, that's all the scoring they would do. They fall to Waco, 52 to 7. Well, we are going to take one final break, but when we come back, we'll reveal our play of the week. Plus, we'll give away our final game ball of the season.